Hello, you got Ruben, the boy mean cowboy. Now let's talk about me today. I'm a truck driver. A proud truck driver. I've been driving for over 37 years with a little under 4.5 million safe miles. Knock on wood. Why did I become a truck driver? Uh, I've always wanted to see the country, get paid for it. It's a challenge. Deliver freight to the customers, to the general public, all kinds of different freight. When I was growing up on a farm there, a neighbor used to haul livestock, had a straight truck, and used to take our livestock to the, to the sale barns there. And a couple of times there, when he had our pigs there going to the sale barn, my dad's pigs, I'd ride along with him there. And naturally, he'd let me drive straight truck back a few miles coming back home there. Naturally I was under 16 then at the time there too. And even on a farm, you know, we drove pickups, farm tractors, with wagons, farm machinery and stuff like that there. And I always wanted to be a truck driver after I seen neighbors doing it, seen trucks in town there hauling grain and stuff like that there. Naturally, I was back in the 60s there, so they had smaller tractors and trailers. After high school, I joined the Army. And I wanted to be a truck driver, but they said no. I had more knowledge to be a combat engineer, I guess. So, I was a combat engineer. And I did get to drive a straight truck. Five-ton tractor with a trailer over to Vietnam there, a little bit, not a lot. Drove Jeep and three-quarter ton pickup trucks, straight truck, and came back to Vietnam, got stationed in Fort Riley, Kansas, so I drove a little bit down there too, with, with a straight truck. Was there for a couple months, then I sent us to Germany. Did get to drive a straight truck over to uh, Germany there, then even on the Audubon. First time on fast roads like that, couldn't blame the traffic how they flew. But got out of the service and got married, so I decided, well, truck driving wasn't for our family to be over the road. So I worked at a feed mill there, delivering load trucks that would go out feed. And got to know a lot of the guys, their drivers are real good there. Even the drivers of the tractor trailers there, the cab overs those days. Emory bills and stuff like that. They'd let me back up the tractor trailer to the dock there or take it around and weigh it after it got loaded if I had the time and stuff like that to make sure everything was legal. And uh, that lasted five years. And I started off with a company out of Iowa, Umpton Trucking Company. Drove a 66 Diamond T. A 40 foot flatbed, 38 foot grain trailer, pulled liquor trailer over there for them, van, flat, mostly flatbed. And then pulled an air check, I mean, liquor trailer for another company after that. Then went back flatbed for another company. And then wanted to work for another company there hauling auto parts, but a van. Then I went back to flatbedding, went back to van, pulled a cow trailer one night, a couple nights I guess, for some people that I knew that wanted me to go along there, didn't have a CDL license at that time either, to help drive because it was tired, so, and that was before I went over the road, and uh, like I said, I've been in all 48 states. Right now, pulling the dry box trailer. Don't have hazmat. I had hazmat for a while. And that was a lot of years ago. I didn't get any, get paid any extra for it either, but it costs more to have your hazmat license naturally, but never got paid any extra for it. And uh, glad I don't have it nowadays. Don't need it. Got a passport. Used to haul a lot of freight down there towards El Laredo, Texas, and El Paso, and New Gallus there for freight to go across the border and then freight coming back up. But I really like it. 
met a lot of people, seen a lot of interesting places, still got paid for it, and naturally had time off certain areas there for the weekends and get to go see stuff. And at one, one time there was like five of us working for another company there, so we got to go see the Statue of Liberty there that one weekend. We had plenty of time to do it. So, I mean, you know, there's times you get times to go see something. Sometimes you don't. But I really enjoy it. And uh, even bad weather, I still enjoy it. I kind of wish I could still fly a bit, but my old body says no more of that, which is the way it is. But uh, I still like pulling the dry box. It's easy to turn when it's 30 below zero. Just close the doors and go. Don't have to worry about the tarp fl flying off and picking it back up, putting it back up there and everything else there too there. So I don't miss those kind of days. But used to haul a lot of oversized loads to mines and stuff like that there, so that was interesting and said a lot of interesting things. Been a lot of interesting places. And like I said, I really enjoy it there, so and, and there's new drivers coming in the industry. I try to help their, help them out. They come up and ask any questions there. I'll go out of my way there to ask, help them their questions, answer their questions, and give them advice. And even driving down the road there, you know, it's two way way two way communicators there. Talk to them on the CB radios and stuff there, you know, if they ask something. And you know, naturally now we can stay in touch with other drivers and family a lot easier than we did years ago there with cell phones there, so new technology makes our life a lot easier and more enjoyable and even with equipment and everything there and everything else here so happy trails be safe bye